NBC Palm Springs. And welcome back. Okay, this might sound absolutely ridiculous. Is your smartphone giving you a bad attitude? Is that even possible? Our guest this morning says yes, and he wrote, you can conquer your bad attitude. <laughs> welcome to Greg Hanna. It's good to have you. This seems ridiculous. How can your phone give you a bad attitude? <laughs> well, you know, I'll have to say, um, psychology today says that, you know, that having a bad attitude adversely affects your health, happiness, and well-being. Sure. And a uh, smartphone, um, you know, one of the biggest forces in determining your attitude is your relationship with dependence on and specifically your addiction to your smartphone. Okay, so w now I, may, I might be understanding this. So if somebody is always on their smartphone and you're you know, with them, they're paying attention to this thing rather than in the present. That's exactly, that's exactly correct. Is that it? That, you, okay. know, you know, Joe, I, I put together... Um, a quiz and if we went through a few features of that quiz a few I think it might help a little bit so for example you know number one is it, do, you, do you make yourself nervous by constantly or frequently checking your email you know you're pressing refresh 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 uh -huh. and is that making you have nervous anxiety oh so that because it's not fast enough well it's not just that it's it's the fact that you know you're so tuned into wanting to get immediate response from people that you're just waiting and waiting and waiting for instance if if you have anxiety and you texted someone and they don't immediately reply to you <laughs> <laughs> you know are you sitting there with your phone waiting screaming why aren't you answering yeah. me you know now they've come up with apps so that it uh, tells you how long you're spending on you know social media and all these other things but then you've got to check those things too so it, it's a it's kind of a vicious cycle here isn't it no it really is but you know the first step in identifying a problem is awareness that you have a problem yeah um, you know so if people were to take this quiz and identify that you know one maybe if they got a yes two yeses probably and three then their smartphones turn into a monster and they they yes. realize they have a problem <laughs> so all right but, but here's the thing if you if you realize that you are a monster um, um, then what do you do in order to change that? Do you just swear off the phone, or can you, you know, kind of, uh, kind of ease off of it? Well, there are three hacks that I could just offer you right now. Um, you know, number one is, you know, charge your smartphone in the kitchen at night, not next to you where you sleep in the bedroom. Okay. You know, it seems inconceivable, but plug it into the kitchen, turn out the light and walk away. You can do it. Number two, and this is an important one, especially in business, is leave the smartphone in your briefcase or in your car when you go in for a meeting. I mean, don't take it with you. You don't need it. You're bigger than it. It's not going to make you successful. You're going to make you successful. Yeah. And then the last one, which I think is so critical, is if you Commit to checking your phone once every couple hours. Turn on Do Not Disturb or airplane mode and put it down and get back to focusing on your most important projects and in your life in general. All right, but what is it just psychologically that has made us so dependent on the smartphone or any piece of technology like that to check our email or to check, uh, you know, if somebody's responded to a text, that kind of thing? Or, you know, how many likes did you get on Facebook? I mean, why are we so uh, dependent on that for satisfaction. Well, you know, it's, it's a human's need to be connected and to be working with each other in some social way, right? Because we are social animals. Mm -hmm. So what the phone has done is, is it eliminated all of the barriers between continents and around the world and locations, and it's made it accessible uh, for people to immediately stay connected at any point in any time. And so what it's done is that it's like it's like why in Vegas they have the bells and the lights and the beeps and the bops <laughs> constantly, right? <laughs> Grabbing your attention. And so the companies and Facebook and those companies have decided, you know, how that they can grab your attention and keep it. And the phone beeping and bopping and distracting you all day long is what's what's the problem. Okay, well, your book comes out in July, Yes, right? sir. Okay, and if people want more information? Yes, www.smartphoneaddictionawareness.com. All right, good. Good to meet you. You as well. All right, thanks Thank a you. lot. All right, we'll take a break. Put it down, put it down, put it down, and we'll be right back.